Hey guys, welcome to Drinks Tube. My name is Rich. We're down here at Trailer Happiness. It is London Cocktail Week, and we set Stuart here. Hello. <laughs> a challenge to come up with the ingredient for a very classic tiki drink called a fog cutter. And I'll just take of that pain. Cheers. How cool is this? So, what you got? Well, I think I've got everything that goes in it, which should be a good start. Nice swag bag. Thank you. It's given me a very minor hernia. Right. Rum, cognac, gin, some almond syrup, sherry, and fruit-wise, lemon and orange. Well, you got the ingredients right. Good. We're halfway there. We are indeed. I don't know how much of each one goes in, though. Ah, well, I can help you with that. Shall we crack on and make it? Please, let's do it. Let's do this. Well, let's start with the citrus fruit. OK. Always a good place to get your balance of sweet and sour in before everything else. Now, we're going to need to squeeze that entire lemon okay. into something like that. That can be arranged. There we go. Yeah, give it a roll. Give oh, it a roll. Get all the oils everywhere. in there. That should be fine. We're going to strain this later. It's getting slippery now. Nothing more dangerous than the slippery lemon. So Excellent. we need 20 millilitres of this. Righto. So just whack that in the shaker. Easy. So next up, fresh orange. We've got two fresh oranges here because we need about 60 millilitres. So let's quickly chop them in half. Let's squeeze it straight in the shaker. OK. Nice and easy. Oh, these squeeze a lot easier than lemons. They do. Right. What do you think is next? Uh, we're going to need something to take the edge off it, aren't we? Yes, exactly. For that, we're going to use the orgeat, the almond syrup, this one here. Gotcha. And, and how much of that will we need? 15 millilitres. It's really rich and it will give a nice balance, nice nutty flavour. So it will complement mm. the rum really nicely and of course it will complement the sherry beautifully as well. Gotcha. In we go. So we have our lovely balance of sweet and sour in there. What is next? Ah, the, uh, the base, which will be the rum. Correct. Hey. There you go. It's We're getting 60 there. millilitres Ooh, of this, 60 millilitres of a light Puerto Rican style rum. In it goes. Next up. Um, I'm going to guess the cognac. Correct. Hey, 20 millilitres. Yeah. And what does this bring to it? So cognac and rum is a lovely balance of flavours. It's going to bring a sort of nice fruitiness to it. So that's 20 mils of cognac. Correct. Next up, we're going to need the gin. 15 millilitres. 15, gotcha. And what does this bring to it? Well, this is going to add just a little bit of dryness. It's going to be a bit of sharpness to this. Rum and cognac together is a nice, soft, smooth flavour. And the dryness of the juniper in the gin is going to add a nice, crisp, clean sort of flavour to the whole thing. Ooh, lovely. So, we just need to add some ice to this. I'll do that for you. If you grab the top of that shaker over there. Right, sir. So, pack it with as much ice as you possibly can. The colder your drink gets, the better. And the more ice you get, the colder your drink is. So, there we go. Just put the top on. Right. Seal Let's it carefully. That. Right, we're on, I think. Yeah. Good old bang on the top. Now, a good trick when you're when you're putting your shaker on, you might want to make sure it's sealed. It's just to lift it up, just just like ah. that, and that way you know. And with this, if it carries with it, you've done it right. Exactly. Right. Go for it. Let's have a shake. Whoa! Ah. Yeah. Tom Cruise made this look a lot easier. I think you can probably put your back into it a bit. Come yeah. on. Are we done yet? Oh, give it here. Oh, very very. Simple. Give it a slap. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You just need to strain it in here, so just hold that down and just pour it in the glass. Ooh, look at that. Lovely colour, isn't it? It certainly is. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pack it full of crushed ice, which will bring it out to the top here. You okay. can float the sherry on top. Okay. There are loads of videos on Drinks Tube about how to make crushed ice at home. There you go, look at that. Hey. So you know what to do next? I do. This is the bit I've learned. I've been looking forward to this. Spoon. Yes, that is a spoon. All right, let us float some sherry. So there are a couple of other ways you can do this. You can do the whole olive oil thing, just put your finger over the top, but if you want to be classy. Ooh, whatever floats your boat. Is that enough? Somebody had to. That looks perfect. So what you want is about 15 millilitres, hey. which is around about three, three teaspoons. Okay. It's absolutely wonderful, but it is still a tiki drink after all. And what do we know tiki drinks need? A little bit of opulence. So we're going to put a garnish on it. OK. Um, orange. Primarily because orange is in the drink, it works, it just makes a lot of sense. And then to contrast that, just a little pineapple leaf Ooh. for a bit of greeniness up there. There we go. Hey. So, there it is, You've got our straws in place. Mm. Now, you've had a lovely long day. I think, uh, I think he deserves the first sip, don't you? I think so too. This is my reward for my cocktail quest. I hope I've made it right. Mmm. Oh, that is good. Yeah, very citrusy as you'd expect. The gin brings a sort of sharpness to it. Slight sweetness as well, presumably from the almonds. That would exactly that it. That is very, very nice. Try Have some, sir. I can't wait to 
right? Wow, that is really good. That is beautifully balanced. Very well made. Thank you. And if I can make this, then so can you. Check out the drinks quest on my channel where I went off to London Cocktail Week to find out what was in this very drink. And if you'd like to learn more about tiki drinks, check the link below and don't forget to subscribe to Drinks Tube. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.